Some expected the program to come to an end, while others were disgruntled. But the Deputy Prime Minister says the initiative has opened opportunities for them to be trained and acquire new skills. She says hiring has already started. The tree trimming program starts with its first cohort of individuals to train a number of the persons on the beautification program in that area. Other programs will be rolled out over the course of the next week or two um, and will be rolled out over the course of the next few months. And we've therefore encouraged persons to um, take advantage of the opportunities being presented to them because this is totally unprecedented. It has never happened in the history of Barbados where we have ended a program but we have taken the time to look at skill set and to give people career guidance as to what it is that they may want to do with their futures as well. The Deputy Prime Minister says the recall for some of the workers will be as entrepreneurs. It is our intention that we can hire back these persons to be able to do, especially in the MTW, to be able to do things like tree trimming. A lot of the core competencies that are needed within the ministry, um, so things like tree trimming, um, gabion building, things that are going to help us in relation to our rehabilitation programs with the Scotland District. We also have persons involved in the landscaping because we will still need persons to do the cleaning across the country and um, we have also been encouraging them to do well cleaning and well maintenance because those are again bugbears for a number of Barbadians as well. So we look in developing the areas that we were going to um, encourage people to get involved in specific to MTW that we could seek to hire them back. Minister of Housing, Lands and Water Resources Dwight Sutherland notes the National Beautification Program has been an empowerment and enfranchisement exercise for the ordinary man. No government in the history of this country from 1937 has ever done such a program to empower close to 2,000 workers so that they can come back and become contractors, ordinary people, contractors, businessmen, businesswomen, and allow the construction sector to fill a void that is real at this time. And this will go a long way, like I said, in allowing us to achieve our target of 10,000 plus houses in this country over the next three to four years. The National Brutification Program costs government $54 million. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.